All right, Steve. So today we're gonna to be working on parallel parking between two cars. Now I know this is a very big difficulty for lots of students. And this is basically a lesson that we teach only to students that have bought more than three lessons. So unless it's a adult, they have a random plethora of things that they can pick from. They can just pick one driving lesson. They want to practice just parking. They want to practice just uh, driving freeway. Obviously, the instructor has to feel safe um, in taking them out to the freeway or taking them out to the main street. Um, so uh, all things considered, you want to make sure that it's always safe and the instructor feels safe. So what I'm really saying is, yes, the parent, or I'm sorry, yes, the adult might want to drive on the freeway, but if he doesn't have the experience, doesn't know how to drive on the main streets yet, then we're not gonna take him on. He might wanna drive on the main streets, but he's never practiced on the residential, we don't take him on until we feel he's ready. So he's gotta go through the residential, then onto the main streets, and then, so all those previous things need to be worked on previous to actually us doing that. However, if he does have experience, and they want to focus on one specific issue, we can work on that all day. It's up to them, they're the adult. However, if it's a teenager under 18 and they're doing the driver training program, they have to go step by step, first lesson stuff, second lesson stuff, third lesson stuff. And that's what we're gonna be focusing on. So today, we're gonna be working on, this little section is gonna be the parking in between two cars. So parallel parking between two cars and this is not included in the third lesson it is um, after so if they if the parent buys a four lesson package this can be included in that and a lot of parents might say oh help have them teach you know uh, parking in between two cars I'm sorry that's not part of the driver training program it's not tested on on the DMV test so we don't include it oh but I want them to train you know what, uh, if you want to, we can add it on to a fourth lesson. And so that'll either discourage some parents or encourage them to get that additional lesson. We're not cheating the student in any way, shape or possible. It's just not part of the driver training program. And once again, they're not even tested on it anymore. And so we don't need to worry about that. So, all right, Steve. So the way we set up the, par uh, the parallel parking, parking in between two cars, the concern is always, I don't want to hit the car up front and I don't want to hit the car behind, right? Exactly. And as well, we want to make sure that at the end of the day, when we park in between two cars, we're not three feet away, right from the curb. And so let's go ahead and set ourselves up to find a nice space, probably up there. Let's see. Good job stopping behind the white line, moving up for the second stop. Looking left, right, clear. All right, we're moving up. Hopefully that's not a driveway when that opening is. And that is a driveway. Okay, so what we're gonna do is, however, we can still park behind that car, right? So what are we gonna do? I'm gonna go ahead and move this out so that you guys can see what we're talking about. So, Steve, let's go ahead and, and pull up a little bit closer. So, as you guys can tell, we are maybe about four feet away from this car. We are literally too far away from this car to start the parallel parking. So, what we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and for the first lesson, I usually will take control of the steering wheel and guide the car to where it needs to be. So we're gonna go ahead and drive, all right. We'll usually, I'll tell the students to pass the car. Once I feel we are closer to the vehicle and still yet maybe about an arm's distance away. You know what Steve, I think what would be best is if you hold on to the camera and you film 
Sounds good. Okay. Go ahead and take that. So, what we want to do is we're going to go ahead and reverse. Now, we're a little far away from the car, but we back it on up. And we want to be roughly around, might be a little too close here. We want to be roughly about one arm's length away from the car to the side of us. So as you can tell, I'm one arm's length away from the car in front of us. Can you see that? You're gonna move it. So I'm about one arm's length away from the car. Okay. And if it's a comparable car, for example this is a I don't know some type of a sedan. Okay. What you want to do is you want to match rear bumpers okay so when you match rear bumpers that's the key so if this so if this is a bigger car the car that we're parking behind if that's a bigger car like a truck you want to match bumpers if it's like another size sedan similar to yours then you can match doors and that's where that's a good place to start and but the key is always to matching bumpers okay now that we have, let's see, we've matched bumpers here, okay, we're going to go ahead and it's a three-step process. We tell the student this, we can even put the car in hazards on. It allows us to explain. So what we do is we turn the steering wheel all the way to the right, then we turn it two back, and then two back again. So first, we're going to turn the steering wheel all the way to the right. Now they can do this, or you can actually do it for them on the first try, okay? And then after the second try, they can do it on their own, yet you still very uh, sharply ready to grab onto the steering wheel, just in case, because we're dealing with a car that's really close to us. We don't want to hit a car, we don't want to, you know, so. Okay, so we got the steering wheel turned all the way to the right, and we're gonna hold on to it, and then have the student look back, What's going to happen is, the car is going to swing out all the way to the left. We can turn that off. Now, when the rear bumper is right here, you're able to tell the rear their rear bumper is right at this post. That's when you want to undo it two times. One, two. Now our tires should be straight. Our tires were first to the right. Our tires were first to the right. Now they're straight. And that means our car is now gonna go straight back toward the curb. And we can look in this little mirror here, the little dome mirror that we have at the edge of the car. You're gonna go all the way back. And you're telling them to look back. So you're encouraging them to look out their rear window here so that make sure they don't run over grandma or a little kid on a tyke and you're observing through here and here we're going we're looking for the rear tires to get into the light gray cement of the uh, of the uh, um, of the asphalt and so that's where we'll continue to move until their tires are in the light gray another thing also it could be when we are have cleared the car. So if we're looking up ahead, we can see that we've cleared the car, right? Okay, good. Now that we've cleared the car and our tail is almost where it should be in the gray, then we're gonna go ahead and turn it two turns all the way to the left. Then we go ahead and hold it here, all the way to the back. As we're looking back, they're looking this way, you're looking this way, you can even help them look out this rear window here and as they're looking out the rear window here once you see that the car is aligned straight this way right that means we're right there where they're at if we look right here we're able to see that the the curb i don't know if you can tell in the side view mirror here but we're literally 
maybe about 10 inches away from the curb. Our car looks parallel to the car in front of us. And then once we are at this position, then we want to go ahead and put the car in drive, straighten the tires out. So that means two turns back and then drive up. Putting the car in park, pulling up on the emergency brake, and there we go. So if we open our door, look where we're at. We're maybe about a good eight, seven inches away from the curb. And so part of teaching the student how to park their vehicle in between two cars is not so much worried about the car behind us. Although yes, we wanna make sure that we don't bump into that car. However, what we want to do is we wanna make sure that we don't hit the car up front because that's the one that's gonna be closest to our door, closest to the tip of our front bumper, right at our bumper. And so we wanna make sure that the vehicle that we're parking in front of, or I'm sorry, behind of, we wanna make sure that we don't hit them. And so uh, we'll go through this one more time so that we don't have any issues. All right, Steve. So today we're gonna to be focusing on, once again, getting this practice down of uh, parking in between two cars parallel parking okay I just demonstrated to you the little uh, technique that we came up with and so uh, we'll go ahead and put it into practice I think there's gonna be a spot right here around the corner so I've went ahead and uh, got this handheld now and we're gonna focus on you Steve okay sounds good All right. excellent stop Moving up for your second stop Excellent. Clear. Let's make a right turn. There we go. We're going to park in front of that green car. So we're going to go ahead and pull on up and reverse into the um, side by side to that car, right? Okay, so we're seeing how close we are. We are about one arm's length away from the car, which is totally fine. If we were to be further out, that means our turns would have to be even sharper and go in a little more diagonal back. So that's why we want to go one arm's length to the car. And then we're going to go ahead and do match bumpers, right? All right, you knew that. I was just testing you, Steve. Okay. Out there. I'll probably go back a little bit further. More. Yeah, about right there is fine. So we were gonna match doors. However, this is an SUV. We've got a small sedan. So we're gonna go ahead and just go back a little bit further, okay? Now we gotta go all the way to the right, remember? All the steering wheel, all the way to the right. And then we're gonna look for, let's clear this car. Okay. We're going to go ahead and make sure that his rear bumper is right here at this post. About right there, right? Okay. So right at this post, you can see his bumper is right there. Now we're going to go ahead and turn it two turns back. One, two full turns right there. The T is straight. That lets you know now that your tires are straight, okay? And we're gonna go straight back, heading towards the curb, okay? And we want our rear tires to be right in that light gray. You guys are familiar with that? I will probably say somewhere around there. And you can also tell we're gonna clear that bumper up front. So then we turn it all the way to the left and then go ahead all the way to the left excellent now I'm ready to press on the brake if need to all right good and he literally is parking in between two cars so that should be it that's good if it's a little tight sometimes we don't have that we don't have sometimes four feet up front or two feet behind all right now you turn it 
you can turn it all the way to the right now and that see how we're not quite behind or aligned by that car but once we put it in then we're able to um, clear it and then put it in drive now and then we're ready to go see how we just fit right in like a glove right there and then you want to straighten out your tires and you can come up or you can go back there you go and you can split the difference between the bumper in front and the bumper behind and that way he doesn't bump into you so I would say probably split the difference you probably got maybe like two feet that you can go behind all right looks good and then we'll put it in park all right always putting on the um, emergency brake and then let's see what we've got hey you did it right that's about 12 inches away from the curb all right 